In this video, we're going to look at the geometric tools we can use in perspective drawing. Most of the objects that we will draw in perspective are made from either curved surfaces that I will explain later on in the website, or from rectangular square edges. First of all, we're going to co construct a simple rectangle and vanish it back to a vanishing point. Then we're going to cross the two diagonals. This gives us the centre of our rectangle. Note how the centre of our rectangle is, doesn't, isn't the measured distance of them two lines there, or between them two lines there. This is because the rectangle is being foreshortened as it goes back to the vanishing point. Constructing a, a vanishing line through the centre of our rectangle out to the edge and putting in another diagonal constructs a rectangle here in proportion to our original triangle. Repeating the process means that we construct, cons construct using diagonals and vanishing them back to the vanishing point, we can construct rectangles in proportion to each other. In this drawing, we're going to see how we can add rectangles with diagonals. So first of all, again, drawing in our rectangle, getting our diagonals, we're going to draw another vanishing point through the centre of our original rectangle, and where that crosses our outer edge, we're going to draw a line through that point there to extend on to our first vanishing line. Extend that point back to your vanishing point, your centre point of that new so-called rectangle back to the van vanishing point, and extend on a diagonal through it. This gives you a rectangle in proportional to the original. Repeat the process and we continue on getting rectangles in proportion. In relation to adding a rectangle, increase the edge length on the picture plane, as shown, bring it back to your vanishing point, extend out one of the diagonals from your first rectangle, and this will give you a rectangle double the length of your original as shown. In this one we're going to look at how we can divide rectangular surfaces. So we can get half of our original rectangle, divide our diagonals, that gives us half, two, we have just halved our original rectangle. Once if we want to get a quarter of our original rectangle, use diagonals again in the first half of the rectangle, there's one quarter and two quarters and a half. Once if we want to divide this area up here into eighths, we divide it again using diagonals. And now we have one eighth, two eighths, a quarter and a half. 